Today, I'll solve one numerical problem on double pipe multifluid U-tube manometer. Here, double pipe multifluid manometer is connected with pipeline. So here, this is the pipeline. So the gas is flowing in this pipeline and double pipe U-tube manometer is connected. Due to the, the gas pressure, P that gas pressure, so water uh, and then the manometric liquid is the push down and that will rise up that next column. And above the above water oil is there okay and because of the water rise that oil is pushed down in the next column and below and the mercury is that there mercury uh, the magnetic liquid is there above mercury the air is there and that column right hand side column that is open to atmosphere so atmospheric pressure is acting on the right hand side column now we have to calculate what will be the pressure in that pipeline that means what will be the value of p gas means calculate pressure p gas now here first uh, that uh, we are going to calculate the p gas okay so due to the pressure of the gas so water is pushed down now in that point one uh, i'm 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 going to calculate the what will be the pressure at that point one here i'm considering that gas density is very low uh, so because of that gas density whatever pressure uh, due to this height so that will be negligible so at that point one uh, that pressure is p gas now here from this two liquid interface i am drawing one horizontal line so at that in that horizontal line same fluid is there in the other limb so same horizontal line the pressure will be same for this that same horizontal line so whatever the pressure is here so same pressure will be in the other side so that is here if i consider the point 2 the pressure will be nothing but p gas so pressure at point p2 is p gas now we are going to calculate pressure here so we know that pressure decrease in upward direction so here that pressure is p gas now in here so that is point 3 so pressure will be p3 p gas minus h w rho w g so p gas minus the height is 45 centimeter 45 by 100 into 1000 is the density and 9.8 is g so p gas is, is a minus uh, if i do the calculation that will be 441.5 pascal now again from these two liquid interface again i am drawing a one horizontal line so that pressure will be same at the uh, same horizontal line for the same fluid whatever pressure will be there so same pressure will be here that is 0.4 so that uh, we can write p3 is equal to p4 so pressure at point uh, p4 that is p gas minus 4414.5 pascal now if i go downward direction from here so pressure will increase so pressure at that point 5 so that will be the p gas minus 4414.5 uh, pascal plus because of this oil height so h oil rho oil and g so minus 4414.5 pascal plus that height is 50 centimeter 50 by 100 and this is the density of the oil because as uh, specific gravity is given 0 0.79 into 1000 that is density and this is g so now after doing the calculation we will get that p5 is p gas minus 539.55 pascal now here again if i draw the horizontal line so pressure will be same for the same horizontal line and for the same fluid so in the other limb mercury is there so pressure will be the same so if that is the point six this point so pressure will be that will be p6 is equal to p5 that is p gas minus 539.55 pascal now again we have to calculate the pressure is here so we are going upward direction so pressure will decrease so pressure will decrease means that p7 is p6 plus uh, sorry minus the hg rho g g so p6 is pg minus 539.55 pascal minus h hg rho hg into g so pg minus 539.55 pascal minus that is distance is 10 centimeter 10 by 100 into 13.6 into 1000 into 9.8 so that will be gas minus 138881.15 pascal now this is your p7 now here atmospheric pressure is also acting so means whatever atmospheric pressure is acting 
so that will be equal so we can write p gas minus 13888 1.15 pascal is equal to p atm now so that is we got so whatever calculation pressure i am getting from here so that is nothing but p atm so now uh, we know that p absolute is equal to p gas plus p atm now if i reorganize so p gas is nothing but uh, 133 13388 1.15 pascal plus p atm so if i compare with this this and this so this will be my gauge pressure so p gas gauge pressure will be 13888 1.15 pascal now if i want to calculate the absolute pressure so we have to add atmospheric pressure so here p gas gauge pressure will be 138.88 kilopascal now if i want to calculate p gas absolute load so that will be 13888 1.15 plus 101325 of pascal so that will i think that will be uh, 13888 1.15 plus 101 uh, that is 325 that will i think something 240206.15 pascal that is nothing but 240.2 kilopascal that's it thank you